ideas to do a 100 kilometer ride, but I wanted a theme, a bit of motivation to get me out the door post Christmas. So I'm gonna go to the other side of the Severn Bridge, right underneath it, at an old ferry pier, look up and try and replicate some photographs from the internet. I've got black and white ones from just before the Severn Bridge opened in 1966, literally the final few months of the ferry's existence. Well, I'm not sure how these photographs are going to come out today because you can see it's very foggy. I'm approaching the first of the towers and I can't even see it from here. I'm, I'm right above my location. This is literally yards away from the second of the bridge towers. You just cannot see it until you're right underneath it. And the same with today's destination. Got to be careful I don't drop my camera here. That's the old Aust Pier taking the old ferry which preceded this bridge across. That's where I'm heading down there. Not very far, but it's quite a long way to get round there. As you come across the Severn Bridge, I, I came in that way. You actually cross the River Wye as well. So I've gone along there through Chepstow and now I'm recrossing the River Wye as I head up towards St Brivals, quite a long climb, and then do a right hand turn and then our destination would be over the far side of this hill. This, as far as I know, is the border between England and Wales across the River Wye, halfway across. So one half of my bike is in England, the other half is in Wales. As you can see, it's clearing, so let's hope it stays this way for when I take the pictures. Here we are, coming up to 1pm on Thursday the 13th of January 2022. I'm at Beachley Ferry Jetty, where the Alst to Beachley Ferry used to run from before the Severn Bridge was constructed. <laughs> you can hardly see it, it's towering up above me there. In hindsight, probably not the best day to have done a then and now comparison set of photographs. Having said that, when I left Bath, clear blue sky, and my mate Rich Clement said on Facebook, I hope the fog lifts you. I thought, what? And then, of course, as I dropped down off the A38, it was very, very foggy. And then I crossed over the Severn Bridge. Well, literally just over there, soon after that point, where you look down here, you cross over the River Wye. And that was like this, just a pea super. And then you drop down through Chepstow, and it was bright sunshine there. I've got some stunning photographs crossing the River Wye there. And then you climb back up towards the Empire Falls, drop down the beach there, and then it's, again, it's uh, a pea super here. But anyway, I'll give you 360. That's looking back at the old ferry, cafe and toll booths. That's a, the jetty in there, which is now a business centre. And that's looking upstream towards Gloucester take my word for it, that's Gloucester up there. Down at the jetty that would have gone across to Aust. Then the bridge is there, I promise you, right up above me. bridge right up above me. You can just hear the constant roar and the occasional banging of where large vehicles go over the joins. A little bit about here anyway. 
I rode across the bridge so many times off and looked down at this jetty and I've been down here a couple of times before as I said it's quite a long slog to get here as usual I knew I was coming here so I just did a quick bit of internet research and what I found was quite fascinating actually this is the site of quite an ancient crossing and in the 18th century the author Daniel Defoe got to the other side actually and chose not to come across because he considered it too dangerous so we went all the way up to Gloucester and down to Chepstow uh, that's a 50 mile detour which I, I find the irony that I quite fascinated really considering he went on to write Robinson Crusoe about his shipwreck survivor there's a fantastic documentary I saw a few years ago and there's a little clip from it I'm going to try my best to link it in the description below it's only a couple of minutes it's well worth watching and there's a fantastic ending to that where the guy said the ferry going across had a maximum capacity of 19 cars and to get the full 19 on they literally couldn't open the doors they were crammed on that tight and it was going across the most dangerous stretch of river in the UK full 19 cars which have got people in there who couldn't get out <laughs> and then Bob Dylan was photographed on the other side actually waiting to get the ferry across he had just performed in Bristol on his 1966 world tour on the UK leg and he was heading across to Cardiff that evening so that's quite a good photograph the bridge was opened literally weeks after that that was May 1966 and it was opened by the Queen in September 1966 now it's around about the same time as an unknown American guitarist arrived in the UK. His name was James Hendrix. The bridge cost £8 million to build in the 1960s and that would be the equivalent of £100 million today. This bridge was designed and built in the 1960s and it was state of the art at the time but by the 1980s it just was struggling to cope with the volume of traffic. So it's decided to build a second road crossing. There had originally been a railway bridge, actually. The second road crossing was finished in the 1990s. And that is now the main M4 from the, the west of England across to Wales. This has now been designated as a bit of a loop. It's the M48 bridge. So as well as the historical famous characters, a little bit of um, personal anecdotes here. I was six years old when this was opened and I remember being driven across this on the first Sunday that it was opened. So it was opened on a Thursday, we, me and my brother were driven across over the Simmon Jack for a day out by a relative. It was only years later I realised that we had dropped my mum and my grandmum off at French A Hospital on the way over and then we picked them up on the way back because my grandfather was having a life saving operation at the time. Now, luckily he went on to live for years afterwards but they didn't realise that at the time and it was kept from his children. In the 1990s me and my friend Nick who's now in America by complete coincidence rode around the Avon Cycleway the day this was the second bridge was being opened and that again I think that was on a Thursday and that Sunday I remember just driving across to Simmons Yap. Yeah, you know, just I don't quite know what made me do it but I just did it you know. Um, I, I suppose to replicate what had happened, you know, as as a child, and to sort of give thanks to my granddad, you know, who had since passed away, but had went on to live a long, long time after the. It's quite a slog back to Chepstow. Um, it is January. I did think I would get here and back in the daylight, and I now don't think I am actually. So I'm going to finish the video here. I say thank you very much for watching. Look out for each other, and I'll see you soon on another little local adventure.